Hello YouTube, came in here. I'm back with another video. So today I'm showing, when I went on vacation in Louisiana, this is the stuff I found, like exploring. At least most of it. There's some stuff in here too, which I'll show one of the things. Okay, first of this, I, th I found this at the area Avery Island, which is where they make Tabasco sauce. Like that's where the factory is. They actually own the whole island. There's also, interestingly, there's over 50 archaeological sites for Native American artifacts and stuff like that there. And I found this there, and I think it could be something Native American, like a point of something, but it's not the whole thing. Let me know what you think. See there, it's like carved on the edges, it looks like. Let me know what you think, probably a lot of you are more knowledgeable than me on this kind of stuff. Which kind of like a spear point or a large arrow point. Hey, I'm just doing a quick information update. So I cleaned it off, as you can see, and definitely looks like it's hand carved. I'll try to show it better. It looks very different now. Yep. You see this black line around here? When I get it wet, it look, and it still looks kind of like it now, but it looks like handwriting, like script. I'll show you. Here, you see? It's really weird. How it looks kind of like script. Yep. Don't know what that is. Like, maybe it is writing. I don't know. But it continues on to here. And then here. You can see, it's really weird. It looks like writing, kind of, and it's probably not. But, interesting, nonetheless. Yeah. You see that? Yeah, it's really weird. So yeah, you can see the edges definitely look hand-carved. To me, at least. But I'm not too knowledgeable on it. Yep, and I just found some cool rocks. Yeah, and this, this one's interesting. It reminds me kind of of like a fossilized track tooth, but I don't think it is. Yep. Some other cool ones here. Nothing worth showing really though. I think it's this. Yeah, no. It's an interesting like sandstone. Yeah. So uh, modern pennies, some rocks. Don't know what this is, but it feels like stone. I also found that uh, island. Where the Native American, do that? They found a lot of Native American artifacts here. It just kind of reminds me of the Native American pottery they had on display. A piece of that. I don't know for sure though. I'll have to do some research. Okay, there's this bottle. This I found right outside of the Louisiana Capitol building. I found it, there's a like a short the shore next to it, like at the water. This was sticking out of the mud. It's broken, but I decided to take it away in case it's rare or something. And suddenly, it's from New York. It's right outside the Louisiana State Capitol building. There's also a Civil War arsenal next, I mean, yeah, I think it's called an arsenal next to it. A Confederate one on the, so it was right near there. It says Dr. Hansen's Laboratory, Little, and then we just said Little Falls, New York. I just find some information, which I'll show now. It didn't say doctor, I misread it. It says CHR, which stands for Chris. Yep, pretty interesting. I think it's about 1890s. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that. I'm probably only gonna keep it if it's rare. It's still pretty cool. And this I found at a nature center, like a, not exactly nature center, like something owned by LSU, a nature property for some of their classes. So I found this in the stream there. I'll show a sign for the place now. Yep, I didn't get much video because as I said, I got caught in the moment and I only had like 10 minutes to look around so I didn't have time to pay to, to remember the film. You see it's pretty, I haven't cleaned it yet actually, I forgot. I just didn't get a chance to, I think it looks kind of cool like it. Oh well, yeah. But it's from about 1938 if I'm not mistaken, based on the date code. It's just a prescription bottle though, so I'm probably not gonna keep it. And then I found so I found this at there's this place. It's like a historical. It's kind of like Colonial Williamsburg. I'm not sure if you've heard of that, where there's all those reenactors and stuff. Except it's smaller, and all the buildings are not original to location. They're all moved over by all the historic buildings. Can't remember what it's called though. But here I found this there. It's like a 1950s Old Spice. 
definitely dug another one of those recently, which I haven't shown yet because I haven't edited. I'm actually pretty far behind on the editing, so it will probably come out a while after I film it. I'm filming it on January 4th. Don't know when it will come out, because I'm pretty far behind on editing. Yeah. But I think it's from, like, the 50s. Yeah. And this I found on the shore next to it. There's a battleship. I believe it was in Lafayette. Like, uh, one for visiting. And there was a beach next to it, and I found this on the beach. I think it's very old pottery. I don't know how old, but definitely at least 1800s. But I could be wrong. I think it's definitely very old, though. Don't know how old. Pretty interesting, though. And then I have a few artifacts. These are pretty interesting. This one I found at the parking lot next to the Laura Plantation, which I'll show you some pic picture of now. Yep. Pretty cool, and there's also an abandoned building there, which was one of their side houses. Yeah, I think this is like a collar, might be from like a saddle, or it looks similar to a collar button, I'd imagine. Did you see how it goes here? Definitely old, no doubt about that. And you can see here, it looks kind of like hand worked. Yeah, pretty interesting. Might say something on there if I cleaned it off. I want to get your opinion on if you think I should clean off with like lemon juice or something to see if it says anything. I'm not sure if I should, but I kind of want to keep the patina. But again, with lemon juice, it might keep the patina. But also, I'm afraid I'll use too much and then it'll damage it. Or I'll soak it for too long, you know what I mean. Uh, but I'll show you what I, why I'm thinking. And also, this is kind of an info update. This is something I found in the recent in the pre in the school dump video, as you can see. But this is I'm sh pretty sure is not a cufflink. It doesn't seem to detach. I think it's a collar button or a pants button from some sort of uniform. But I'm not sure what kind of uniform. But yeah, that's what I think it is. It looks very similar in shape, like how the back end is and stuff. So that sort of makes you think whatever it is, it's probably the same kind of thing. Yep. Uh, let's see, anything else to show? Oh yeah, so I found this thing. I don't know what, it, it's not anything old though. It's like an old thing from, not the old. Fish, lead fishing weight, probably not old. That I also found the same, not the same place, but same area as this. Actually, not this, I mean, as the Old Spice bottle. And here's something really cool. I don't know if it's, I hope we can Civil War, but I don't know. This is from the LSU campus, actually. I found it on the water next to a lake, like on the side of the lake. There's a, there's a sidewalk and next to the side, and at the roots of a tree, there is this. It's a lead bullet. I'm sure of that. It's lead, for sure. I can tell by the weighting. I don't know if it's Civil War or anything. I'm hoping it is, but it's definitely dropped. Or at least I think it is. Let me know if you can recognize it. I researched Civil War bullets and I couldn't find it, but I'm sure that even if it's not Civil War, it's definitely old, but I don't know how old. You see the end there, I don't know if that helps you, but if you know anything about Civil War bullets or have some information that I couldn't find, please let me know. I could find some similar ones from like Civil War stuff, but I couldn't find one with like the cone point like this, because it's like straight on here, and then it has like a cone tip. And there's like a little like hole in the top that goes down to the bottom. I don't know, maybe someone turned it into a fishing weight or something, I don't know. But it's definitely a bullet tip, I think. I mean, you know what I mean, a bullet, never mind. Uh, anything else? I found this at the Port Hudson Battlefield. Civil War Battlefield. I don't think it's Civil War era, but I wanted to make sure, so I took it. It's bronze, though, it, feel, it seems like. So that's why I thought it could be old, because I don't know what... I'm just hoping. I'm going to do some more research on that, though. But let me know if you recognize it from anything. Yep. Pretty interesting. And I think that's all. Yep. Hope you enjoy. Wait, one more thing. I'll okay, be right back. This is not really exciting. It's just some weird thing I found on like a hacking trail. It feels like acrylic with a bunch of weird materials mixed in. I don't know what it is. I just found it in like the woods. Please let me know if you know what the heck this thing is. It's like shreds of metal and stuff in it, it looks like. You can see there, and there's like a little thing here, like a sharp thing. And pieces of like rusty metal and stuff in there. I don't know what it is though. It looks like there's like some sort of like screw thing, right? Drill bit or thing right there. I don't know what it is though. Huh. But I found this. I'm just wondering what it is. That's why I took it. I wanted to try to figure it out. And there's also some cool like pieces of like flint and stuff I took. Like, some of it's flint. Some of it's just other interesting pieces. But like this is definitely flint, I think. Yeah. No like arrowheads or anything though. Unfortunately, because there has been Native American artifacts found there. Okay, and uh, that's all. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.